friends, I had an idea for an epic new podcast. The story of a kid who got separated from his parents and must survive in the jungle alone. So with the help of many friends, we made it. Dad, it's me. I'm trapped down here in the Lost World. He said Lost World? I found out this hole and, and slid down this big, long tunnel. Right near where we camp, there's a hole in the ground. But what happened next is one of the biggest reasons I got my nickname. Miles the Brave. And I learned that you should never give up just because things look hopeless. Even when you're not sure what to do, you just never know what might happen if you keep trying. Miles the Brave is our exciting new original podcast made by Story Button. The entire season is available everywhere August 21st. So right now, make sure that you search for the podcast Miles the Brave and click follow. You are not going to believe what happens on this adventure. Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is our first time hanging out, welcome to the family. I love turning your ideas into awesome adventures. So I really do take your idea that you send me, and I write an adventure about you. So if you have an idea for a story, head on over to KidShortStories.com, send me your idea, and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Today's story comes to us from Miles. Are you guys ready for this amazing adventure? Me too. Let's go. As Miles was floating at his desk at school, he was completely mesmerized by his teacher's story. You see, it was a beautiful day and Miles was at school with all of his other fish friends. Yeah, fishes have schools. Everybody needs to learn, right? (laughs) Well, school was just coming to an end, and their teacher was telling a story. A story that maybe it's a legend, or maybe it's real. I'm not sure, but it was absolutely amazing. And that is the day that I got smacked in the face with an alien cupcake as it sailed through the water. The end. All the students couldn't believe it. Was their teacher telling a joke, or was it real? As the bell rang, which meant school was over, everyone hurried home, except Miles. He had to stay after and ask his teacher if that was real or not. Excuse me, Mr. Barnacle, can I ask a question? Said Miles. I have certainly, yes, what is your question? Said Mr. Barnacle. That story you were just telling us, it was absolutely amazing, and I can't believe that aliens make cupcakes, but... Anyway, was that real? Like, I just have to know if aliens are real and cup if they make cupcakes and if that story was real, said Miles. Mr. Barnacle began to shuffle some things around on his desk. He carefully took his glasses off, revealing that he did only have one eye. Oh, that was kind of strange. <laughs> Mr. Barnacle, he was an old redfish. An old redfish that had been through so many crazy adventures and stories. And somehow, he only had one eye. Well, as he placed his glasses down on the desk, he said, Well, Miles, you see, not many have ever believed that story. I'm pretty sure it's real. It happened a long, long time ago. And sometimes, as your memories fade, you're not exactly sure which part is real and which part your your brain just filled in some details. What I can tell you is that I saw flashing lights, green flashing lights in the sky. As I looked up, I got smacked right in the face with a cupcake. Pretty sure it came from those flashing lights, and it was absolutely delicious. The most delicious cupcake I'd ever tasted. So to answer your question, Miles, I'm not exactly sure, said Mr. Barnacle as he shook his head down. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Barnacle. I understand sometimes having like a bad memory you can't remember exactly, but that is super helpful. I think I'm going to spend this weekend looking up at the sky and see if I can find any of those blinking lights. Oh, well, just be safe and don't do anything crazy. Don't worry, Mr. Barnacle, said Miles as he waved his fin and swam off. Miles was a young bluefish 
who is never afraid of an adventure. Do you like to go on adventures? I do. And what if I told you that there was a mysterious treasure in your backyard? Would that be exciting? Yes, that would be pretty exciting if someone told me that there is a treasure in my backyard. Well, what if someone told you that an alien dropped a cupcake on your face? Would you think about checking out if that was real? I definitely would. That's exactly what Miles did. He ran home and decided that it was time to act. He needed to build a spaceship. (laughs) Wait, how is Miles, a bluefish, going to build some kind of spaceship to bring him to outer space? He's a fish that lives in the ocean. That's got to be impossible. As he arrived back home, his parents said hello. Hey, Miles, how was school today? Oh, it was awesome. It was probably one of the most exciting days ever. And I I have a lot of work to do this weekend. So uh, I'll be up in my room. Bye. Okay, bye. His parents waved at Miles. It wasn't usual that he came home from school so excited. But they did really love seeing him so happy. As Miles raced up to his room, he knew that he had a lot of work to do if he was going to build some kind of spaceship that was going to go to actual space. He started constructing the form and the shape of the rocket ship that would bring him there. It was made out of a whole bunch of plastic boxes that he had uh, found in the ocean and some wire to tie it all together. He also needed to find something to seal up all the cracks to keep the water in. Oh, that's right. (laughs) You know how when if we were building a spaceship to go to space, we would want to keep all our air in the spaceship, right? Yeah, because we breathe air. And Miles, since he's coming from the ocean, I think a bluefish would definitely need to make sure water stays inside of his spaceship. As the day went on, Miles was working very hard on this project. He did take a little bit of a break to come down and eat dinner, but then it was right back to it. He was having so much fun building this spaceship that he didn't even realize that it was about time for bed. (sighs) Until... A whole bunch of yawns just came out of nowhere and attacked him and made him really sleepy. (laughs) Have you ever had a yawn come out of nowhere and it just makes you super sleepy? Yeah, that's exactly what happened to Miles. He brushed his teeth to get rid of all those sugar bugs because even fish have sugar bugs on their teeth that they have to brush off before they go to sleep too. As he was tucked into bed, he fell fast asleep. But that night... His dreams were all about the adventure that lied ahead of him. An adventure that would lead him to the answer of the question he searched for. Do you remember the question that all this adventure is about solving? Yes. Well, uh, it's two. One, are aliens really up there? And two, do they make delicious cupcakes? Well, all the dreams that Miles had that night, they told him the answer to the question. They, the dreams told him that aliens and cupcakes were real, but it was about tomorrow's adventure that would lead him to solving this true mystery. Are his dreams correct? Are aliens and cupcakes from space true? We'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Short Stories. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating two birthdays. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Julia, who's turning six years old. Julia loves to play make-believe with her brother, Andrew, swimming in the pool and ballet. Wow, Julia, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy sixth birthday. And next up we have... Happy birthday, Gavin, who's turning eight years old. Gavin loves soccer. This is the first year he will be in school on his birthday. He loves to read and do math problems. Wow, Gavin, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy eighth birthday. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.